I thought I'd do a quick uh, video on uh, some of the 3D printing I've been doing recently. And um, you may know that I, uh, I print uh, 3D tanks and vehicles in uh, plastic. Uh, I've recently uh, obtained some resin printers and so I'm kind of exploring the um, opportunities for a different type of printing with resin. Um, and I'm really pleased with the results. So this is uh, some of the stuff I've done for myself. Um, some of these um, are on the website, uh, particularly these guys down here already at paintandglue.co.uk. Um, others will be put up in due course. And um, <coughs> a lot of the, uh, the, the vehicles that I do in plastic um, can be uh, done in resin. Um, the proviso really is that uh, depending on the size because the resin printers uh, generally have smaller uh, build plates uh, and so you can't do uh, um, so big uh, models um, but it does have some advantages um, in that uh, the detail that you can get out of a resin printer is much finer than uh, plastic um, it's smoother and or rather but um it's um it's it's easier to damage so if you were to drop one of these on the floor the chances are you would break it or you'd br break part of it um if you dropped one of these in plastic it probably wouldn't do any damage um so it's a bit of a swings and roundabouts anyway let's just take a look at um a couple of these things so um this is uh, a humvee um to go with my uh, modern stuff I uh, got from Empress Miniatures over the last couple of um, shows. Um, but you can see um, how smooth it comes out. And this one's hollow. Um, depending on whether I remember to hollow the model out before I print it. It depends on uh, whether I get a hollow one or a solid one. Solid one obviously a lot more chunky and weight weighty. Um, and a hollow one a lot lighter. Um, so that's uh, how I got a couple of Cougar M wraps, um, four wheel uh, and a six wheel. But again, I don't know if you can notice on here, but um, I don't have a handy print of a Cougar to hand to compare the two. But um, you can see how, how smooth uh, that is on the side. And the uh, the six wheel version. These have just been undercoated with um, Wheelco's grey spray, and then a couple of uh, M one thirteens for my Vietnam. And I've got a selection of weapons that I've printed separately that will go on here and in a hatch. But, uh, oops, a little bit. You can see, um, I mean, you can see some layer lines. And depending on the orientation of the model, I think this was just printed sort of like that. And you do tend to get some lines on the flatter surfaces. Um, but they're not as pronounced as uh, as plastic, and of course, depending on which way you you print it, you'll get uh, uh, nice smooth sides. This is um, how it uh, comes out of the printer, <coughs> minus the supports that I've clear cleared up. And this is um, a Polsky Fiat Jeep, five oh eight Jeep. I printed the uh, canopy separate, and obviously the wheels uh, all get stuck on. But this is uh, using green resin. Um, I've got a selection of, of resins, so uh, various colours and grey. Uh, th these were light blue. Um, you probably can't see in there, but uh, that's light blue in there. Um, and this is. Uh, some of the uh, finer details, I think you can see the face there. Now, considering that's come out of a 
what basically is a home market 3D printer. That's pretty good. So this is a, a series of um, female Russian soldiers. And then um, I've got some Russian naval troops. And these will be available on the website soon when I get a chance to put them on there. And some artillery crews. <coughs> um, so I'm um, glad that I've found these because um, obviously I 3D print my artillery now. Uh, and I've now got some crews to go with them. And then I've got some um, some motorcycles, and these are really good. Some German uh, BMW and uh, sidecar. You can't you can't get this uh, detail on a plastic printer. And then some uh, pedal cycles. So um, again, fantastic detail. The um, the stock of that SMG. You can see. You know, it's it's hollow there. Um, the spokes, individual spokes and chain. Uh, lovely models. Uh, I've got a whole series of these on the website. Only German at the moment. This one's got an MG34 strapped to his bike. Again, look at the detail on that face. Right, I've, I've seen some um, plastic commercial uh, stuff which uh, isn't as detailed as that. Um, I mean, I'm not saying this is uh, the best you'll ever get, but uh, considering it's 3D printed, I think it's pretty good. So anyway, that's uh, just a quick look at some of the resin stuff that I'm doing at the moment. Um, most of the uh, the stuff on the website at Paint and Glue uh, Co UK uh, will would will be available in resin. Um, I've, I've just printed a whole series for a guy in Australia who wants uh, all his vehicles in resin, so I've done them for him. Um, various different uh, tanks and uh, trucks and things. Um, it is a, a little bit more expensive than plastic. Um, but it is. Uh, I think it's uh, a nicer, a nicer quality. So uh, if you don't mind paying a few quid extra um, for the extra quality, I, I think it's a, a nice choice. And I think I'll probably have him printed out uh, dozens of plastic vehicles for my own collection. I think I'll probably uh, print them in resin now, uh, and I'll just have to make sure that uh, I don't knock them off the table because uh, they are a little bit more fragile. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.